the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we all know, we all pray sometime or the other. And we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others. And one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. We pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer the Pope's intention for this month. December 2020 For a life of prayer We pray that our personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the Word of God and a life of prayer. The heart of the mission of the church is the oration. The oration is the key para que podamos entrar en un diálogo con el Padre. Cada vez que leemos un pequeño pasaje del Evangelio, escuchamos a Jesús que nos habla. Conversamos con Jesús. Escuchamos a Jesús y respondemos. Y esto es la oración. Orando cambiamos la realidad Y cambiamos nuestros corazones. Nuestro corazón cambia cuando ora. Podemos hacer muchas cosas, pero sin oración no funciona. Recemos para que nuestra relación con Jesucristo se alimente de la Palabra de Dios y de una vida de oración. En silencio tutti. Hoy uno prega al cuore We pray for our Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the Diocese of Goa and Daman closer to God. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Grant them the grace to continue to work in the vineyard. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests, especially those who celebrate their birthday today. Let's now pray for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire Church. We pray for the Mega Convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. CCR Golden Jubilee Prayer Heavenly Father, we are on the threshold of celebrating the Golden Jubilee of the Catholic Charismatic Renewal in India. We celebrate all the joyous occasions, accomplishments and triumphs. We acknowledge that there have been and will continue to be struggles. Yet we have traveled together under your protection and love. Thank you, Lord for being with us in good times and in bad. Lord, continue to protect us, guide us and sustain us as we journey towards the Golden Jubilee and beyond. Lord Jesus, help us to discover new ways that unite us as your body, the Church, and help us 
to always remain in the sacramental graces. Holy Spirit, fill us with your gifts and fruits and draw us together in the bond of unity, peace and charity and help us to experience the living and abiding presence of God in the church. Bless all the plans and visions of Mission 2022 and the Golden Jubilee Convention. Mother Mary, intercede for the service teams, prayer groups and all the plans and programs of CCR in India so that we may all be filled with the Holy Spirit, be united in Christ and be ready to serve God through our neighbor. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, listen to your people pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your people pray. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Send your love, send your power, send your grace. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa, that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth in all those who attend the prayer meetings. Let us keep the following petitions in our prayer. For a person who has recently undergone a bypass surgery, for peace in a family who are always fighting. A lady requests prayers for her and her family. For a person who has an eye problem. For a person who has a leg problem. For a person who has met with an accident. A wife requests prayers for her husband who drinks and spoils the peace in the house. For a girl who was supposed to get married and now her fiancé is avoiding her. A man who is presently unemployed requests prayers that he may find a good job. A person requests prayers for stomach ailment. A daughter requests prayers for good health for her father. A mother requests prayers for a good life partner for her daughter. A lady requests the gift of a child as well as good health and job for her husband. For an infant who has kidney issues. For a person whose wife has left him. For a couple having relation problems between them. Let us pray for all those afflicted with COVID-19. Let us pray for all families. Let us pray for protection of our children. Pray also for all your personal intentions. Finally, let us thank the Lord for all the answered prayers. Let us lift up all our intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it as was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are not alone. Your brothers and sisters will support you in prayer. If you have a prayer intention, all you need do is to WhatsApp. 800-745-7376 or 992-187-8446 or make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be assured that a committed group of persons will lift your prayer request to the Lord.